Yo, y'all know what it is, y'all know what it ain't. Ever since this whole, like, I can't even, let's go back. Let's go back a little longer than I, I want to say than this Bezu indictment. Dirk has been pretty, I guess, using his vo- quote unquote voice a little louder than he used to before his fame got bigger, you know, after that Drake feature. It's like, you know, he understood the role that he had to take, you know, you know, with all this money and fame, you gotta feed the fans what they wanna hear. And he's been on Twitter and Instagram a lot, letting people know, especially OTF. It seems like every time he make a statement or a status directed at somebody, it's towards his own guys. And after O Block just got raided recently, you know, the feds been trying to come for Dirk, King Von, the whole BDs from Chicago that's rapping. They've been trying to come for them for a moment. And it seems like the only person who's affiliated with the BDs from Chicago that's safe from an indictment is Chief Keith. Everybody else is fair game for the feds. As y'all seen, I just did a video on it the other day. Um, I'm not saying it has anything to do with Zoo, but right after he got locked up, it's coincidence, feds raided O Block. You can kind of say the same thing for Young Thug and Look Heed. After the feds lock up YSL, Look he died. Not saying this you know, has anything to do with one or another, but it's, everything is just kind of like a, a shocking coincidence. They found Zoo with switches. He get booked. O Block, it ain't their first time being raided. The uh, CPD raided O Block. The feds came and locked up Muwap them. Then you just seen military and SWAT. They just raided O Block, and I didn't see anything taken, nothing confiscated, nobody arrested. So I was kind of pretty unsure why they even raided O Block in the first place. The only thing I can do is use my common sense and say they raided Zoo Home, found the switches. So it's a bigger indictment coming because, you know, a lot of things that people didn't know was Zoo didn't get caught driving on the street with three switches. They raided his home in Chicago, and they found him just like that. So if the police getting, getting these search warrants ready for all these different people in Chicago, it's, it's an indictment coming. I'm sorry to say it, it's an indictment coming. And it seems like Dirk noticed that himself. He went to, he took to Twitter not too long ago, and, you know, he made that another. He made some more statements directed at his guys. Stay off your phones. Stay super focused. Don't know why he just going to tell people this behind the scenes. You know what I mean? Like, you know, these rappers hate when we do videos on them and talk about stuff that got something to do with anything that's not music. But y'all getting on Instagram and Twitter, letting us, giving us content. Like, it's not nothing bad that Lil Durk, that he did that. It's just why I get on Twitter and say that. I would just get around my guys in person, not over the phone. And be like, hey, get off your phone, stay off your phone. Woo out the bam, do woo out the bam. You feel woo woo woo. But hey, I guess that's just part of being a celebrity. You got to let the world know what's going on because they already watching. You know what I mean? And Dirk got a case that he fighting already. Zoo super cooked. His bacon is fried. They might as well put a little extra grease on his bacon. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, I believe what Lil Dirk doing right now is he just doing some damage control. He want all the people who real internet, <clears throat> Bob Stop, <clears throat> me most excited, people who like to do stuff for Twitter and Instagram, he just want to keep them focused and remind them, stay off your phones, feds watching. And honestly, bro, when you, the, I got to keep it real with you. The judicial system don't care if you black or white. The only thing they care about is green. If you have money to fight a war, you'll win in the streets. If you have money to fight a court, you might end up getting a lighter sentence. Think about all these rappers that's big. Look at Bobby Shmurda. He had to damn to go bankrupt in order for him to see the light of day again. You know, all these charges getting stacked up on top of each other against these famous rappers. And everybody gets a little scared. You get what I'm saying? But it is what it is. You know, as long as you got 100000 to even $500,000 to fight, the, to fight these charges in these cases, you'll be able to get away with five to 10 years for some real serious stuff. So Dirk know what's coming. And he's smart for increasing that bag because once you put money on people's heads and other stuff like this, you don't even have to get locked up for that, bro. Somebody gonna snitch. I'm not saying it's gonna be Zoo. I'm not saying it's gonna be Muwap, but somebody gonna snitch. There's gonna be some little people that you never even expected to snitch. They already say OJ from Lamron, he snitched on Cairo. Or was it Boss Move? Somebody from 600 snitched on Cairo. So it snitches all through the rack. Be careful. Watch your surroundings. Keep the switches off your Glock. Just put a 30 in it, please. Just put a 33. Come on, what's wrong with that? Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think below. I'm gone.